charges for allegedly, allegedly hitting his young son. And today we got word that Ray Rice is appealing his indefinite suspension. All told, more than 20 NFL players are suspended for various infractions. Is any of this impacting the league's bottom line and therefore a real threat to the job of Commissioner Roger Goodell. Mike Bako, sports editor at DailyNational.com, is back here on Arise Exchange. Uh, anything you're hearing from the sponsors here of the NFL? Because that's, at the end of the day, where the decision may be made. That's where the decision may be made and because they're paying with their, with their wallets. They're opening up and buying sponsorships. FedEx has come out and issued a statement. PepsiCo, two of the biggest sponsors, have come out. Other owners, who certainly speak with their wallet, and that's where their interest lies, mm -hmm. have also mm -hmm. come out in support of Goodell and the investigation that's going on. But the more you hear about these things, high-profile players like Adrian Peterson, eventually it's going to start hitting teams at the bottom line, and eventually it'll trickle down, I think, to other players. Not necessarily the Tom Brady's and the Eli Manning's or the Peyton Manning's, but what about that car dealership that may want to have have a Jets player who's the second string uh, defensive lineman come to one of their events. Are they going to want to roll the dice and go well, with you're always rolling the dice who they the don't players. know what they're going to actually Yeah, and get. maybe maybe the impact is going to be on the players at first. You know, Brian Gumbel, um, the host of HBO Real Sports, is a longtime NFL commentator uh, and sports analyst. He was pretty clear. He says there's only one thing that's going to motivate the owners, and that is money. And he says the fans play a role because we may be complaining about the league, but guess what? We keep going and watching the games. And he said, I, I think Gumbel had a great line where he said, we may not like Congress, but we like our Congressman. We may not like the NFL, but we like our teams. Exactly. Did you watch football this weekend? Certainly did. Uh, though, though another week with the New York Giants. A, that a, would be as did me. I, and, and as did millions of yes. other people watch. Tens of millions played fantasy football. Even more on top of that, probably gambled. So people are not turning away from football. And the sponsors look at that too, obviously. And the sponsors Eyeballs. look at that as well. I think an interesting trend that we're going to see possibly in the next month or so, once NBC starts trumpeting some of their Super Bowl plans, $4.5 million to advertise 30-second spot in the Super Bowl. If they have trouble selling those, that might be our first indication that sponsors are talking with their wallets, and that might be a message Do to Do you get NFL. a sense on any additional pressure on Goodell? He did not go to the opening of the 49ers mm -hmm. stadium this mm -hmm. weekend, and that's certainly being questioned, so he must be feeling the pressure a little bit. He must be feeling the pressure, and I'm sure he would have felt the cascade of boos that probably would have come down on him. Love him or, or hate him when he's gone to events, the NFL draft here in New York. I've covered it where fans have clamored to take pictures with him, get autographs, cheer him. I think that's going to be a different story if he tries to show up at games, at least in this next foreseeable future while the investigation is going um, I'm on. Gonna, I'm going to credit one of our anchors, Julian Phillips, for this question because he brings up an interesting point. Are we demonizing the NFL when you look at the totality of the number of people who work there? It is at least on paper, a small number of troublemakers. It's a small number compared to society, compared to other type of jobs. I think what people are having a hard time with is the discipline that is coming down and to a certain degree, the reaction of the players that are involved. Ray Rice, very disingenuous apology the first go around. Mm -hmm. Adrian Peterson releasing a statement saying today, by no means am I abusing my child. I was disciplining my child the same way that I was brought up. So Adrian Peterson, are you just continuing the cycle? This is also a guy who very unfortunately had a child die last year That's at right. the hands of abuse of his uh, ex, uh, the, the mother. So he's of been there. He's yes, been there. he's been And there. also the Carolina, uh, the Carolina Panthers only benched Hardy today after pressure. after pressure. And they said, well, the environment has changed. And that environment is seeing what other teams are doing, seeing how the, the atrocious message that it was sending to have their owner receive an award la late last week for domestic abuse. And you have this guy going out there on your payroll uh, you know, representing your team. Bad right. message. You know, and, and ultimately, this is not what the NFL wants to talk about. If you look at the New York Times sports section, all of the stories above the fold about the NFL, not one, mm -hmm. about an actual game. Absolutely How not. How to read about the Giants and Jets on the bottom of the fold. And even last week, even more bad news, a study co partly commissioned by them saying three out of ten players within 15 years and are going to suffer yeah. from dementia. That is yeah. also big news. So there's kind of sort of a cascading effect here. Maybe Absolutely. maybe they'll turn it around and the league will be better for it in we'll the end. We'll see. Mike Bakel, thank you so much. The Fed begins its two-day open market committee meeting tomorrow.